Yo, what's cooking good looking? It is Soul Entertainment TV, and today we are going to be doing the new crossbow. I have not used it. I've seen statistics, and I have them right here. Um, they do have it under rifles, which, I mean, I guess makes sense, you know, because of just the sheer damage that it does. But, uh, it's still not a rifle. But, anyway, um, I wanted to bring this up. Attention, in the next few weeks, we will be transitioning remaining content from forums to discussions as part of the decommissioning of forums. This transition will be accompanied by our first round of enhancements to discussions. And then it says click here for some shit. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, let's just go down. I'm waiting for the bosses to recycle, and I think they should in a second here, but... I haven't um I haven't checked, but I figured while I waited I could get the uh the statistics out of the way. So the Barnell RF31 crossbow. It is let's just compare it to the X1 Grand, because at this point, you know who the fuck's gonna compare it to the long shot. Um it costs a thousand credits in the shop. Uh if you were a gold member, twelve fifty, obviously if you weren't. Um it has a one round capacity. Now, this was my slight problem with this weapon. It has a one round capacity. And I get it, it's a crossbow, but I'm almost positive they have crossbows nowadays that have more than one bolt per thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Granite, I, again, I can see why they did it. It is a crossbow. Um, it has very fast reload speed compared to the slow reload speed of the X Grand. Now, that doesn't matter to me because I have 124 reloads, so I reload everything in a quarter of a second anyway. But if you are looking for something with fast reload speed, this has fast reload speed. Very slow attack speed, the same as the X Grand. Very high accuracy. This has high accuracy. Um, high critical hit chance. High critical hit chance. Now, with my critical hit, I'm pretty sure it's 124, so I'll be hitting... Uh, four out of five of my critical hits 120 rifle skill required it has unlimited ammo and now from what i heard i don't know if this is true i don't sweetie sweetums i don't know if this is true um, but i was told that the reason why they made it unlimited ammo is so that way they didn't have to make a new ammo in the game for the crossbow so i mean like <laughs> I can't say that that's the truth. That's just what I heard. Um, it deals 25% of the damage in PvP. So I guess if you're going to be doing PvP, you should probably go with the X Grand. Um, it has unlimited ammo and it does not create any noise. So in the wasteland, this might seem useless. But in if you're just looting, this could be a really good fucking weapon. If you don't run into a siren, it makes absolutely no noise. And the uh, damage, 435 for a critical on the X Grand, 565 on the crossbow. Now that's a 130 point difference, if I'm not mistaken. I probably am, I'm retarded, I failed the second grade. Um, same same shot speed, um, and then the average damage per second, 109.38 or 459.41, and then 84.22 and 353.71. Now, um, again, Ooh, who do we got? Flaming Flesh Hounds? Sure, I'm down. Why not? Um, I'm probably going to have to pause this because I'm going to have to heal myself and I'm probably going to have to download the update for the client shit. Okay, so it turns out I didn't have to uh, do anything in terms of downloading anything. But just real quick before we get right into this, um, I wanted to show you guys just this is the damage you will be doing per critical if you have a 35% damage boost because I know I have a little bit more than 35% so just for the people who don't have like implants or whatever and you buy a 35 percent damage boost this is the damage you will be doing 762.75 and obviously i don't need to tell you the damage you'll be doing per critical without damage boost if somebody fucking asks me that i'm gonna ban you because it's right there okay <laughs> let's get right the fuck into this i'm not going to use it until i get to the boss shit okay i ain't gonna use it so if i die just know it's been a while and i'm using a crossbow with one fucking ammo Okay, so the area just to the right should be the dog area. Let me take a sip of my nondescript carbonated water. Ah! And I just wanted to, before I went in there, I wanted to bring up the settings real quick 
because they have a join a friend button. Now, I don't know what the fuck that does. I'm assuming you can join a friend, but who knows? I don't know how well it works. Uh, uh, I, maybe I'll try that out at some point with uh, one of my boys. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm again, I'm going to be doing a little bit more damage per critical with my weapon. Uh, because I have the 43% damage boost instead of the 35%. Um, I am in single player mode just to give this thing its fairest use. Like, I, I, I don't want to have to shoot... If I, like, I don't know how many bullets exactly it's going to take to kill one of these, these flesh hounds, but if I have to shoot it, let's just say 100 fucking times. If I have to shoot it 100 times, I don't want to have to be a multiplayer and then have to shoot it fucking, you know, 300 fucking times. I don't want to have to do that. Okay, I immediately got stuck. Uh, you can tell I am rusty. Oh my god. Oh. Take another sip of my nondescript carbonated water. <laughs> oh my god. 802 damage. Oh, that's net. I got goosebumps. That's so net. It's probably because it's cold in my room that's disgusting 805 damage i can't even fucking read <laughs> boy i was so took off guard i go bitch i can't even read oh and the cr you can see the crossbow or the crossbow you can see like the bolts the arrows in there oh that's fucking sick and I like how I don't have to hit the reload button either. Okay, that hit me. I'm okay. That no, that hit me. That's that's fine. Sure, that hit me. We'll we'll go with that. I don't have to hit the reload button. That's what I like. I like how auto reload. I I'm talking about auto reload like it hasn't fucking been a thing for the longest time. Oh my god! And it's got it's got fucking some some pretty hefty knockback too. For that critical, this thing fucking smacks cheeks, boy. I mean, yikes. 805 fucking damage. That's a goddamn... That's an atrocity. That This is like... Wow, this is... That's all I can fucking say. I feel like every time a new weapon comes out, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, no. Instead of adding more content to the game, you know, like, more fucking zombies and shit, yeah, added another weapon, how cool, fucking sick. But, like, and then every time I try it out, all I can fucking say is, wow, wow, that's so cool, wow. But, like, honestly, this is just crazy. Where the fuck do they go from here, rifle-wise? Like, honestly, like... I think it would be pretty cool if they added a whole, just a whole fucking slew of crossbows. I think that would be pretty cool. Crossbows with more ammo, but they do slightly less damage, and they have slightly less accuracy. I think that would be pretty fucking cool for, like, like beginner crossbows and shit. That would be pretty fucking gnarly. Um, fucking make a crossbow that, that has unlimited ammo, one bullet, but an explosive tip. You won't have to add new ammo into the game for the crossbow. Oh my god, look at that. Just spank cheeks. And then all it does is when it lands and hits a fucking zombie, it explodes. Just like a grenade. I'm sure they could fucking do that. Super simple. Um, But yeah, that's that's what I want to see. That sounds fucking lit. That sounds cool. Um, But like rifle-wise, I don't even know where they go. How are you going to make a rifle that does more damage than this? It's going to be too overpowered. Unless you, you add a whole new fucking area where everything's health is like four times what it normally is. And then you just drop a fucking a, a rifle that does 1,200 damage per shot. Because it's still going to be difficult at that point. This fucking thing just, just spanks cheeks, dude. I am in utter amazement. 805 fucking damage. Ow, you fucking dick sniff. That's crazy, dude. Damn. And I mean, like, aside from the fact that I'm, you know, rustier than an Asian hooker's asshole on a Thursday night, and I'm, I'm getting hit because I'm trash, 
uh, this fucking thing is is really good. It's holding back fucking the 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 zombies. Like, well, I mean, like my aggro is holding, or my my agility is holding back the normal zombies because I'm just running the fuck away from them. But like in terms of how quick these fucking things are, the knockback is more than enough to to push them back. Um, granted, that doesn't take a whole lot because the dogs don't necessarily have a lot of, uh, or they have like very they're very susceptible to knockback. Um, yeah, this fucking thing is really good. Obviously, you're not gonna want to use this to hold off zombies as you loot a body, because I don't I don't think that's gonna work too well. But uh, yeah, it's whew, wow, it's really good. And I, I'll do the same thing I do for for most reviews. I'll go through and I'll I'll make a list um, based on the average damage um, for the most critical. I will show how many hits it takes to uh, to kill the bosses with the base critical, like the damage. Like, if you have the damage buff, and then I'll do it without the damage buff, and I'll do it with the crits, and without the crits. Oh, you can just fucking see all the arrows floating in his shoulder. I mean, hey, I mean, we might as well see what we get for loot. Okay, no. Sure, no, no, no. My first, uh, my first day back to Dead Frontier, I'm already getting fucked. That's, that's nice. That's sweet. Thanks, Dead Frontier. Just bend me over and call me your bitch, why don't you? It already does. It already does. Ooh, 475 Magnum. That's not terrible. I mean, it's not great. Would have been great if this was fucking 2015. When the fuck did that gun come out? I don't even know. It was worth some money a couple years ago. Great Reactive XC800. Gnarly. Gnarly. Come on, Bioreactive. XM25. Okay. <laughs> I found Tatakals and shit, but I still just want to find a bioreactor just for the meme. Come on, bioreactive. Let's go, bioreactive. I still care about those things, you know? I have to get all the way to the other side of the fucking map just to get my loot. Jesus Christ. And I'm going about it the complete, like, dickish way. I'm like, oh, I'm going to cut through here and zigzag through this and swerve around that. God, this gun is still really good. <laughs> Imagine if it was an X dusk. Oh my god, cream in my pants. Boy, get the fuck off of me. Dead. See ya. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <gasps> Ooh, Mastercraft the reactive SLA. That's not bad. Okay, I am going to head back to the bunker and I will uh, I'll do the calculations to you know see how much it is for the Hoochie Mamas and I will be right back. Oh my god, ah Okay, so before I went in and I did all the the convobulations and configurations of tallyulations, I just wanted to I just wanted to take a second by the way, the open menu is five seconds now. I don't know if I ever covered that, but it's five seconds now. I just wanted to turn this up a little bit, not too much, because I know it can get really loud really quick. And I'm hoping that my my capture device is capturing the sound. It should have been the whole fucking time. I wanted to listen to the sound of the crossbow. Just just listen to it. I mean that that's like that, that sounds like a crossbow to me. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's get the calculations going. Okay, so I went through, contabulated, combobulated, jabigged, regulated. Let me just get a sip of my nondescript carbonated beverage. <laughs> it's good shit. Um, I went through all of these zombies. Every single fucking last one of them. And I tallied up everything that everything was. Um, and here are the results. Now, for those of you who don't know how these work, I don't even know how these work. Because I'm, I'm making a statement from this point on. If I review any gun, this is exactly how I'm going to do it. So, this is how it's going to work. This is the boring part with a lot of math and a lot of statistical shits going on here. Okay, so if you don't want to see about that and you don't care about that click off now this is the end of the review technically i used the gun i had seen really cool it did decent at holding back aggro i will give my opinion on whether or not i think it's worth it after i do all of this 
but this is going to be the boring part. So, um, but if you're interested in knowing how many bullets it takes to kill these in a semi-descriptive but not completely descriptive way, and what I mean by that is because you, if you have 124 crit, you're not always going to hit fucking every boost, um, or every crit, so... There's a little bit more math involved in figuring out exactly how many it is. This is just for if you hit your crits and if you don't hit your crits. If you hit zero crits and if you hit all your crits. This is what it is. So for the Flaming Black Long Arm, the Flaming Flesh Hound, and the Marshmallow Man, which all have 20,000 HP, 169, uh, point, or 176, <laughs> 0.9 for no boost, 35.3 for no boost with the crit, um, 131.1 for 35% boost and 26.2 for 35% boost crit. That is how many bullets it would take if you hit all your crits, if you didn't hit all your crits, and um, if you hit every bullet. Um, the Flaming Black Rumbler, the Flaming Wraith, and Flaming Giant Spider, all 30,000 HP, 265.4, 53.09, 196.4, 39.3 now these numbers are going to seem like they're not that different between the 35 percent boost and the no boost um just for now because they're slightly lower hp things but when we start getting down to like the flaming black titan and shit that's when that's when the the the, the shit really starts getting crazy and you don't have to listen to me say all this if you just are interested in how many bullets it might take to kill a flaming mother or whatever with this then you could just pause it and look at it and then you know be on about your way but the flaming zombie um with 2500 HP, 22.1, 4.4, 16.3, and 3.2. Now 3.2, that's that's crazy. Um, then again, it is just a flaming zombie. Um, the mother and the regular mother and the Titan, 66.3. They have 7500 health. 66.3, 13.2, 14, 49.1, and 9.8. The flaming mother, flaming Titan, Wraith, regular Wraith, and regular giant spider. They all have 15,000 health. 132.7, 26.5, 98.3, and 19.6. 19.6 to kill a flaming Titan. Boom. Just over it like that. Um, now the black Titan. With 100,000 HP, 884.9 damage with no boosts. Uh, with the no boost, but hitting every single crit, uh, it's 176.9. So, them crits are really coming in handy now. 35% um, boost, 655.5, which is over 200 drop from this. And then the 35% with boost with the crits is 131.1. Uh, the Flaming Black Titan, as well as the Volatile Leaper, all have, they both have 200,000 HP. No boost, 1,769.8 shots. Uh, with no boost crits is 353.8 um, for 35% boost, 1,311. And for 35% boost with the crits, 262.2. Now, the difference between no boost and no boost, uh, or no boost and boost, is over 400. So that's that's pretty fucking gnarly. Um, the Devil Hound, two hundred fifty thousand health, twenty two twelve point three four forty two point four sixteen thirty eight point eight and three twenty seven point seven. Um, the Elf Zombie, I really didn't even figure I had to do this one, but I figured I would anyway. So for no boost, it's one point four for no boost crit. You're obviously going to have to use a whole bullet, but if we're being technical, and I, I, I wrote the whole thing out this time instead of just like the point with the number. I wrote the whole thing out just so that way you can really see the difference in how many shots it would take to kill this elf zombie, the difference between the uh, the no boost crit and the 35% boost crit. I, I wrote that all down just so you can really see. <clears throat> Bear with me. No boost crit, 0 0.283185849696946. A lot of six nines in there. A lot of horny people, apparently. 35% boost, 1.04. 35% boost crit, 0 0.20976738941330071. So there's a drastic difference there. Jurassic. And yes, I said Jurassic the first time, I think. I don't know. I meant to. Anyway, pumpkin head zombie, Easter egg head zombie, 3,000 HP a piece, 26.5, 5.3, 19.6, and 3.9. The Santa zombie, 44.2, 8.8, 32.7, 6.5. Reindeer zombie, bunny hound zombie with 10,000 HP. 
uh, 88.4, 17.6, 65.4, and 13. The Slenderman Zombie with 25,000 health, 221.2, 44.2, 163.8, and 32.7. And that is, of course, with the Barnell at base stats doing 113 for a regular, 565 for a crit, and 35 boost for 152.55 for a regular, 762.75. Now, again, you might have a higher crit, and you might have a lower uh, crit chance, or you might have a, a, a higher damage boost, you might have a lower damage boost. This is just the standard. You know, most people... They have the 35% damage boost or no damage boost, you know, because they buy the, the Hoochimama. Now, that's the statistics with, with all of these. So, it, man, and it outshines the um, the long shot and the and the X-Grand. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have to do a, like a side-by-side review type thing on it. Um, if you're looking for a gun that has a lot of ammo in the clip that can just boof, 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 you're not getting it here. Um, and honestly, with the... Um, with the fire rate of the X Grand anyway, it takes about a quarter of a second to shoot per shot. So really, if you have a quarter of a second reload time, boof, reload, boof, reload, boof. It's kind of the same thing, y'all. That's all I'm saying. It's kind of the same thing. Um, I think the gun smacks cheeks. It is fucking disgusting. It is. It's really good. It, it, it really is good. Do it, it, In my opinion, is it worth it? Let's go check out to see how much it costs in the marketplace. I don't even know when they um when they got rid of it for the what's it, what's it. It's only 27 and a half million. I mean, it's pretty much the price you would have paid for credits um if you weren't gold member. Uh so do they still have it in here or was it taken away? I can't remember when they were supposed to take it away. I know it would be on this front screen, but just in case so I don't look fucking stupid, we're going to rifles. Okay, no. They took it away. All right. So is it worth it? <laughs> are you fucking stupid? Yes, I think you are, and I think that it is worth. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, it is. It is worth it. I would definitely get it, um, especially if you're a looter. Oh man, this fucking thing makes absolutely no noise, and it just spanks, dude. It spanks so hard. As a matter of fact, let me go back to the bestiary just to see, because I know I could have did all these, but honestly, <laughs> holy shit! Thanks for the fucking ad. Honestly, if I would have went through all this, this shit would have took fucking forever. You one-shot everything, like, for a critical, except this. You do 565 base damage for a critical, and if you do have the 35% damage boost, you one-shot everything. So, I, I, I skipped past all this, but what I really want to check is, Siren has 70 health. 70 health? 70 health? Even if you don't do a critical, that's a fucking one-shot hit. Every single time, and it's completely silent. The gun is nasty. It's disgusting. It's, it's... It's fucking nasty. Um, I'm going to be doing some boss hunt videos. With, I might even do the... Oh, it's just four flaming flesh hounds again. I mean, obviously, I'm going to go do them for the loot, but... Um, and it's got unlimited ammo. What fucking more could you want? Honestly, with, with the quarter second reload time, the gun is just absolutely disgusting. I'm disgusted. You're disgusted. Let's wash out that disgustedness with my nondescript carbonated beverage. <laughs> different every time see you thought um with all that being said if you guys made it this far fucking sick um if you made it this far just write gnarly in the comments i want to see how many people actually know how to spell gnarly uh <laughs> and then i just want to see who made it this far uh, but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it the like button subscribe button share button definitely comment positive negative don't bother me i just want to see some feedback and if you enjoyed that much you want to miss anything i might upload in the future be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications you'll be notified every time i upload a video because you're not gonna miss what is next Salsa time. Thank you guys so much for watching.